Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Royal Rumble campaign where I'm trying to survive as long as possible in legendary Iron Man with 90 plus mods. I should add to that intro that we're also trying to knock out as many of the countering factions as possible and uh, also the Chosen. So it's really a Royal Rumble. Two out of the Chosens have been knocked out and we are now uh, yeah, basically trying to get the Warlock out as well. We still have three factions, uh, the Reapers, the Marauders and the Dark Elders that are left over. Definitely need to kill all of them. I'm not sure if we can kill the last faction, the Hive, but um, they might have a Queen that could actually be invaded. But all of that is sort of side events in reality we're now getting more and more vip missions and i absolutely do not adore vip missions in this mod because a typical vip a legendary iron mission has around 12 to 16 enemies we're fighting against 27 thanks to double enemy squad size and on the next mission we again have unknown enemies that means they are harder than the ones before Got a couple of uh, drones, security drones, riot mechs, uh, quite a few gunslingers, fanatic bishops, so that means psionics, hunter drones, and elite lancers. So half of the enemies are drones. I am wondering if I should take another blue screen rounds with me. Hmm. I think the answer is yes. Good. So, one, two, three, four times blue screen rounds. Russ, in order to uh, work from high ground, and Roby with the armor penetrating rounds. I am still not sure if that or tail and rounds are better. But the AP rounds have been quite helpful against, say, targets with two to three armor. And uh, you simply bypass them as well as the shields. Anyways, as you can see, we got inappropriate Murphy and Roby. Both uh, still trying to get to that Colonel tier. Andros is already there. We got Zirkim. We take Russ and we take Slicinator. And the reason why I'm taking the B team and not kind of a team of uh, lower quality is because you cannot extract. And uh, I want to stress that again, if we find ourselves in a suboptimal fight or prolonged firefight and we cannot extract, then we're essentially losing the entire team. Now, it would not be the end of the campaign because we still have an A team if that would happen, but it would definitely be a setback. So this is another do or die mission, which we actually need to win. Wish me luck. Okay, so we're about to land. And I am sincerely hoping that we're going to see high ground and maybe not, not as uh, far of an exit as... Uh, yep, that is okay. Cool. So we got high ground. That's a good start. We got a huge chasm here. Like that is medium ground. We got low ground down here. And then high, medium ground, high ground again. Wow, that will be a shootout for the ages. Even got some second level cover here. Okay, cool. We can put go down. Well... Let us proceed. 14 turns might seem a lot on paper, but it certainly is not. They will be as we are. Okay, well, I forgot we were not uh, hidden, but it's fine. Black Ice Mother Brain. Okay, cool. Roby receives the teamwork. I mean, look, we could go down here.
and hit that viper or alternatively we actually go to here and hit that brute run gun it is All right, fantastic. Well, that offers us some comfort as uh, we are now completely surrounded. Good, let's shred the mech. That did not work as well as I thought it would. Good, one step at a time. One step at a time. So. I believe this here should let us know the uh, let us see the brood. Good, good, very good. Shreds it. I think Brittany needs to take a chill pill here. And just hunker down and hope for the best. Wow. What a man. Couldn't walk around it. Just took the direct approach. Good, listen, we do have death from above. Let's get him down. Okay, he will not die immediately unless we're finding a way to deal more damage. Slicinator could kill the guy downstairs. That would be an option. Let's do that. I'm just still trying to align with who is killing whom. Could have also used chain shot. But it's okay, we still got chain shot left, uh, left over. Zirkim takes care of the Mac. We're taking care of this mech. Roby's overwatching. Russ gives uh, gives Sirkim that extra aid protocol, which will offer him threat assessment and an overwatch shot. And most of the enemies should not be able to do anything. Maybe the Codex can with the teleport. Enemy is still up. Just a little off. 
All right, I wasn't expecting in turn one to already run into problems. But all things considered, it was a relatively calm turn. And the first two packs would be gone, which, well, we still need to kill them, but if they would be gone, we would uh, have way less trouble. Good, moving up. Lysinator preps the mech. Very nice hit. Fantastic. Alright, so all three of the mechs are down. You still got that advanced security blip there. But before we engage it, could we... I mean, there's a Viper up here, right? Right. Let's kill that and jump down to see where the Codex is at. Oh, that would be a good hit. We do not have an extra action, so can't really kill both of them right away. Inappropriate Murphy moves up, sets up the Brute. Wow, good hit. Good, Brute is down. Look, we have Untouchable, so th this might be the right play, really. We have the high ground. In a perfect world, I would kill the Collector Drone. In our current circumstance, I'm just trying to find out where the Codex is located. There is a Brute. Okay, cool. Ready to engage. It's a bit of a messy fight throughout the house. If my memory served me well, the Codex was over here. And Russ really takes an Overwatch which means three enemies are left. Black eyes. We have been quarantined. All right. It seems as if Murphy has uh, caught COVID and is now hard quarantined. Guardian. Keeps on triggering. Good job. Come on, come on. Terminated. 
There is the untouchable. <clears throat> Not sure what the deal about the quarantine is. We got one more elite the collector drone that uh, beast here just died the second large brood and that's a pack of five and another pack of five gone i think we should heal ourselves uh, there seems to be a connection between the two don't want to be in a situation where we might share the damage. Who knows what the author of the mod thought. Okay, we're testing one shot with Zirkim just to see if there is no damage sharing. Network firewall. Okay, whatever that means. to 16 we have two four six eight well that would need to be maximum i should have used double shot damn it anyways chain shot just kill this guy up unfortunately no more run and gun so we got to do it the old-fashioned way shield to the face instead of shotgun to the face Good, moving down to the second floor. Not great, but it will get the job done. And there we go. Two packs down. We are starting to hurry to get to the front of the queue right there. So far, so good. For the first two rounds it was messy, we took some damage but not a lot. And we used quite a few cooldowns, but that's to be expected if you fight against 10 enemies. That Black Eyes Codex, I still want to try to find out what exactly the ability, the quarantine ability does. It looked interesting. Good. Next up is a transition turn where I think we will just try to get as close to the ledge as possible. Okay, so let's transition. Careful movement should be should be okay. We have killed all of the enemies. Why are we already spotting out the next one? A lonely mag. Okay, cool. Well, 
Well, that was rather easy. Let's try that again. We have spotted out everything. Right? Right? Okay, cool. Apparently we did. Good, Brittany. We gotta be careful on that high ground here because it is much easier to be spotted out here than it is on the low ground. This ledge in the back um, of the valley, like right here. It's a good vision uh, blockage and from my experience there is a bit of a uh, a bit of a game of uh, game of line of sight going on if you really stand on top of here you can see a lot um, that you cannot see for instance when you're down here so i gotta be careful not to pull even more enemies But we heard yelling down there, which means I have no concern that we're definitely going to end up pulling something. The only one who could um, have a reaction shot at the moment is Roby, so might as well give him an A protocol in case something is going to come. And if not, we're fine. If we can get that front of uh, the house, we would have an excellent position. A really, really strong shooting position. Okay. Apparently someone is running into us. Wow. The Botox of uh, a Brute. Elite Purifier, Drone, Trooper, another Drone. Okay, so we got four or five right there. Why isn't, why hasn't the Brute charged up? That is strange. Typically they charge into your direction. Okay, a couple of questions to answer. Number one, what does that heck do? Number two, why has the brood uh, not charged up? Ooh, distraction, 50% chance. Hmm. All right, the second question I'd like to ask is what is happening down here? So that's, wait. Okay, so that's the brood. These fields here should all be obtainable. Apparently there is something down there. And throw a grenade down. I'm concerned that the moment we move up, we will trigger a massive pack. Could move down here. And then throw the grenade. Something is odd, guys. So let me check that again. We got a brood here. Plus one, two, three, four, five, six. Brood plus six? Maybe some civilians.
This is typically where heavy weapons are coming in handy. So that one would land well. Could even injure everybody down there. And remove the stairs. Hmm. Okay, so that's option one. Option two is landing it over here. I am asking myself if that would hit um, anything that's standing down there. Uh. Questions over questions, so that I don't want to lose a turn. I'll take the uh, secure option. Which is shredding the ever-living hell out of these guys. Wait, what? It was a black ice codex. And I heard a stomp. I am very sure that I just heard a stomp. Which means there is a sectopod somewhere near. Oh, I'm pretty sure this is going to suck. You are kidding me, right? So you're telling me these guys were just down there and have been waiting? Not sure if we've spotted them out though. Something here is awkwardly wrong. We know there is a pack down there, okay? It has not moved yet. Zirkim moves up. This is crazy. Six additional enemies. Alright, let's hit them. Pretty sure that that dealt some damage. I'm not sure how much, but it dealt some damage. Alright, reloading. Run and gun. No way! Oh my gosh! Oh, this is getting completely out of hand! Let's kill that brute. Untouchable, baby, and implacable.
four, five, six. Okay. Full cover with Endors. That guy is near death. That guy could be near death. All right, so we got to clean this up. This is an absolute and utter mess. Not hacking yet. That's not a one shot kill. That however is trying to take everything off the field as far as possible. We even got a Black Ice Codex down here. Okay, so let's try to get as many of them down. This drone, unfortunately, was not a one-shot kill. And in terms of hitting enemies, oh, this is not really helping. Cannot see this Fnatic Crusader there. We could kill either of them. What's our hit chance for that mutant? I think it's 100%. Yeah, okay. We just need a normal pistol shot. Conserving that fanfire for the sector pod. Of course, there's always the chance to completely mess it up. Do we want to make it worse as it stands? We cannot just win that fight. This orientation, by the way, is fantastic. I think we need our actions back. Nice. Okay. What? Ready for round two, motherfuckers. Here we go. Good. Let's not be wasteful with our round two actions. Black Eyes Mother Brain. That is one which could use a little bit of spanking from us. Moving over here, setting up that Fnatic Crusader would not be bad. Only two. Tell you what, Azir Kim needs to get into a better position. Three, three. We know there are still enemies over here. We do have plasma grenades, so we could further get that Praetorian sector put down. Crusader is an option. I hate that Crusader. It's 
slight movement to the side could allow us to see it. These guys are trapped. Well, the Sectorport is not so much trapped. Sectorports react a bit different to um, tactical analysis. Their movement action is free. And then they do have two actions for shots. So effectively, you can still move and shoot uh, despite the limitations. I could hit that guy and basically set up a grenade. Well, that wouldn't be bad. And I know there are enemies back here as well. You know what? Let's use action economy, uh, action efficiency. Can deal with that fanatic in a second. Multi hit. Setting up that mutant. Good enough. Okay, Russ is uh, inappropriate. Murphy is slightly injured. We want to prevent that from happening. Again, just action efficiency here. We did not want to uh, switch our position. Not right away. And that's a possibility for a future setup. Could move up and basically go for the Black Eyes Codex, which I think I will. That's my next target because it could move up and ruin our day. I don't want that to happen. Which is why we're marking and hopefully killing it. Not the time of the day where you would want to miss a shot dude good getting threat assessment and preparing the crusader Just an elite trooper back there. We're going for the Codex. Fantastic. That worked well. Okay, we still got plenty of enemies down there. What's our chance to hit that elite Lancer? Well, it's not too bad, actually. Moving to here allows us a blade storm combination if the guy uh, decides to move up. 
also helps us to keep that sector port in check because we have untouchable. Maybe even twice, who knows. Reloading and doing another overwatch. You know, that was overall quite a good turn. There's the untouchable. Unfortunately, it removes cover. Oh, it is really bad. Elite Purifier could move once because of tactical and oh no, they triggered apparently let's last round. What? 10 points of damage plus shredded? Despite a mind shield? What exactly am I looking at? So let me understand that. <clears throat> Roby just received 10 points of damage. And is shredded. Target games aim and crit bonus to attacker. Targets hacking set greatly reduced. Quarantine uh, units have limited actions. Okay, so the quarantine just means I do have one action only and it hits better against us. Okay. By the way, who thought that that was a good idea when designing that codex? It's a terrible idea. But it's a great enemy, I like it. So, that won't be enough to kill it, and I really, really need the Codex to be killed. Equally, I need the Praetorian Sectorport to be killed, so both is a problem. Let's start with the Sectorport. Is that thing here? will cause a lot of issues for us. All right, okay, cool. So couple of thoughts. We don't want to stand in the open. Currently we only got uh, the elite trooper available. I think this should get us in range to the sector port and quite a few other enemies. Yep, it does. Which also means we can chain shot it. Can we kill that sector port without any further support is the question. Let's hit it. It's down to eight points of damage. Still can't see it from here. Reactive nano gel gel still deals minus two points of damage. Oh, that is 
strange decision to give them that. Alright, we just lost our cover. Well, fantastic. It's getting better and better. Fennec Bishop and a Purifier. The Purifier is harmless down there. The Bishop, I have absolutely no idea uh, what that unit does. But it doesn't necessarily look harmless to me. Good. Got a Gremlin heal, Roby. After that critical 10 points of damage. Black Eyes, Mother Brain. Or we're killing the trooper. I tell you what, as much as I want to kill that Black Eyes Mother Brain, the right order of play is always make sure that the battlefield is as clear as possible. And that means in this particular case, reducing the number of outstanding enemies. No, we're I'm not going to stand at the ledge. This might be a kill. Did we really just minimum damage him? Obi takes a short move back. Can't see these guys, no matter where I'm positioning myself. Might as well go over here just to not be clustered up. Last free reload, um, so that we can have more than one overwatch shot. And there we go, come on. Dazed for four rounds, wow, that's nasty. Okay. We need emergency evac. We have to expect our soldiers to feel the strain of combat eventually. We just have to give them enough time to recover properly. Lightning reflexes eventually prevented uh, the survival. Can't really do much about that. I mean, there's only so much I can do uh, if the sectopod explodes in a huge array. Then there is nothing that I can do in order to prevent that. It sucks, but it is the reality. Rip Slicinator, you have always been a good friend. Moving up, because we need to deal with that black ice. And the best way of doing that is fanfire. Wait, you're telling me 
that he survived all three shots, although that was more than enough to kill him. I call bullshit. Good, we're reloading because with one turn, uh, with one action, what are we supposed to do? And another Overwatch. Hopefully, oh no, the Fanatic Bishop. Oh, yeah, he had poison running. Okay, cool. Good. Zirkim moves up. Hopefully kills the target. Not before taking a counter shot. Good. Roby is no longer quarantined, thank you. We got seven more turns left over. VIP moves out. Let's heal Zirkim. And Roby. Russ moves down and takes Slicinator because uh, El Slicer still has a couple of good weapons that we could use. And I'm pretty sure this will not trigger. Boy, what a mission. This is complete battlefield. War zone, rather. Alright, Roby moves up. Good, no alien movements. That means we're good to go. And you guys wanted to see people die. There it is. Life in the flesh. Slicinator did not make it out. And it was on a situation where there was, again, little counterplay. Good to go. Slicinator 
Sonic hit into stun really had uh, absolutely no counterplay except kind of a high will score but what are you expecting after being fighting long uh, long lasting battles then the will is typically exhausted and after a stun we immediately got pulled into a flanking shot and after that flanking shot we got another grenade so the ai really calculated the damage well and just killed him from 100 to 0 that was a a rank 3 bond gone Which means Russ needs a new bond mate, one that he can trust. Damn it, I'm a bit salty about that outcome. Very good. So, that was potentially one of the hardest missions that we've played so far. Russ, what a what a coincidence on the mission where he finally gets his colonel rank, he loses his partner. Rip Slicinator. We got Intel and the Scientist overall, I think it was a fair-ish trade. But that level 3 bond will take a while to build up. We're now up to 11 scientists, 9 plus 2 from the laboratory. And in terms of bonds, I mean, one of the things that we could do is to bond Russ with Hogbite and add him to the prime team. We could run the prime team with two specialists, of course, until the Psy operatives are finally mature enough. He has death from above, so that definitely is going into the right direction. Good. We don't necessarily need more intel. Black market is closed for now. We wanted to reduce the contact cost, right? Right. Seven more days. Well, I tell you what, we can still reduce contact costs. Uh, that should help us to save and conserve some intel. And... I mean, that live fire training isn't bad either. Uh, again, here is the deal. We're making that contact now. New regional contact located. And pff, that's a stiff price to pay. Yeah, we don't have a tower here. That's uh, the problem that I did not factor in. I wanted to make contact. So the train of thought was... Make contact, get live fire training, purchase a couple of uh, rookies, start training them right away so we're not losing time because we're we're a bit slimmer on manpower. <clears throat> but that hasn't worked out well. Let's reduce the contact cost nonetheless. And soon we're going to get new supplies. Reinforced heavy armor, plus one hit point on all of them, which is great. We could get more intel if we wanted to. Still no Archon, right? Still no Archon. 
that sucks because we really need that pla uh, or I really want to get that plasma lens. Hybrid alien sword tech. And hybrid alien turret tech. Uh, we're going to research that in a second. Let's do the hive drone which is inspired i've seen members of the crew quietly glancing at the scar on my neck if i wasn't forced to remove the chip myself what's that by the way jacobo and Ro uh, and Roby. oh yeah sh uh, sure oh no zirkin yeah but still work on that bond guys we just lost a level 3 bond might as well get one back Good. Now it's time to get all of uh, those those new toys. New Proving Ground project. PCS Hive Drone Tech. Having seen the chrysalids come in so many forms, we've charged up their means of attack. We want to start manufacturing additional PCSs. Okay, cool. Let's get the alien uh, data cache, which is inspired. And what exactly does that mean 10 supplies five alien alloys okay cool we're starting to research that project if we could manufacture pcs's that of course would be nice it's one of the things where we where you can have never enough pcs tactical coverage grants the user the covering fire ability as well as a small defense bonus covering fire is uh, overwatch shot reacts on more than just movement which is great and i don't know what the small defensive bonus would look like but we're going to figure out in a second because many of well not many but some of our some of our um, soldiers do not yet have a PCS. I've bought a lot of superior perception. Good. Bubble, for instance, could definitely use superior perception. Never mind. You're, uh, you're getting that because Grenadiers should get that first. Four defense. That means four percent last less chance of getting hit. I actually like that a lot, and it's not a bad PCS. Plus, covering fire on a sniper is moderately good. So, might as well give it to her. Good, cool. Uh, let's check. How much does such a PCS cost? Because we still, like I said, have a couple of what can I do for you, Commander? have a couple of people that would need that. Definitely need to upgrade the sparks, but if we were to well, it's just corpses and ten supplies and a few alien alloys. That's Re relatively cheap i like it we will continue doing that because having a pcs in the slot is just a flat out bonus for for a relatively low amount of investment good 130 intel again which helps us now which of the other things do we want to do i think we're starting with the alien uh, technology that we have gotten out of uh, that scrotum I am sure you will find the results to be good alien turret tech deployable cell turret mk1 2 and 3 Provides additional fire support to soldiers. It's deployed like a grenade thrown down on the spot where the turret, appear, uh, turret appears. And let's research the swords. So how much does that cost? How 
100 supplies, 10 alloys. And then we can upgrade it. Cool. We do have enough uh, selected corpses. What we don't have enough is alien alloys. We can buy them next uh, month. Or we find them as a scan. But the towers could actually be quite helpful. Next region, contact uh, straightly reduced. While well, we could go to Chile. Volunteer army wouldn't be bad. I mean, up here, it would offer us a massive discount. But I tell you what, we anyways need to build the tower here. So it's might maybe not as good as it uh, seems. Uh, do we need, what do we need? More intel would not be bad. We actually need supplies and alloys at this point. All right, gaining some intel. The reason why I tend to scan with the Reapers instead of take that intel reward is the Reapers almost give as much, if not as much. There were a few wounded during the latest covert action, but after a few days rest, everyone will be ready to get back out there. Good. That was the facility lead which we needed. Now, here's the thing. We wanted to infiltrate the stronghold, just double checking. Getting that skirmisher wouldn't be bad either. But we don't have the time for it, right? Let's get the skirmisher after we have kin uh, uh, killed the warlock. More dodge for Hogbite. And maybe Russ and him can be can be on that mission together. It doesn't matter if we're getting ambushed. It really doesn't. Good weapon. He's ready. And Hogbite is almost always ready. Good. Cool. I think Hogbite would be in and around 65, 70 dodge now after that. Which together with his focus should almost get him to 100 dodge. Another important step Good. We got uh, the next research done. This is still from the scrotums, the follow-up research. Got the scimitar and the magnetic scimitar. Okay. We're going to look into that. Magnetic Scimitar. And improve Bullpups. Astonishing Breakthrough. That's plus one damage on the Bullpups. Super good for the Skirmishers. And I still promised you guys Skirmisher play playtime. So that hopefully will happen. In terms of building those Scimitars... What would we need to do? Viper rounds. Weapons. Scimitar. I still don't know what it uh, does, but uh, rest assured, guys, once we do have alloys and more money, we're going to upgrade. We have a lot uh, to upgrade. And those new items, I want to test them. I want to see them in the field just as much as you do. All right, that one here is irrelevant. 
Engineer of Undying Loyalty. We don't want to deal with that, do we? Oh, Undying Loyalty. I don't know what kind of dark event this one here is, but I think we're countering Undying Loyalty. I just can't fathom a world where I want to fight against Advan that also has Undying Loyalty. Imagine it with increased uh, squad size. It just increases the squad size effectively more because every single Advan just dies and comes back as a ginormous zombie. So what are we dealing with on this mission? Vanitor. I don't know what that is. Sectoid Prime. That's nasty. Archon. Oh, cool. Yeah. Let's get that Archon. Elite Corrector Drone. Fanatic Inquisitor. Bio Sword Trooper. Bio Lancer. I think overall fine. A few Mind Shields maybe. But other than that, it looks like a really, really good uh, mission. One that we can do. Recover an item from a uh, from an Advent facility. That should not be a problem. And we're researching. That's good. Bond training is good. We got uh, removal of negative traits. Can't build anything at the moment. I would like to recruit a few more soldiers. But that might come over time. In terms of our roster, uh, we're getting more colonels. Keep in mind the Prime team is currently just really set for important missions and we will use that in order to keep the game running. So Russ and Hogbite might get a bond, which would be Russ, Hogbite, Cannon, Dilly G, Sonar, Grell. It's a bit of an odd team, double, double specialists, typically not what I would run. But given that we're taking so much damage, the uh, the healing ability and the counterplay might be exactly what we need. I would prefer to go with a maxed out Psy operative, but if push comes to shove, uh, that could, um, specifically since Ra Russ has death, death from above, I, we should actually be fine with that. So that's the prime uh, team. We got Endors here uh, who certainly together with Zirkim is good for the second team. Um, 22 uh, could be our normal sharpshooter that is just helping us in order to level the remaining guys. He has not a bond or anything but uh, it's a staple. And after that uh, really a few majors and captains that's our B team at the moment and then we do have uh, the bottom of the barrel. Uh, and, uh, this those guys need some training as well, because you've seen how hard that last mission was. Imagine if I lost more than one, uh, the whole fight might have shifted and we might have just um, lost the entire team there. So the fights are much closer than they might look on paper. It's almost like you win uh, one nil at a soccer game, but there had been uh, there had been like twenty. Uh, goal uh, opportunities either side it could look very very different in a in a different timeline so yeah the two psi operatives definitely are helpful and we got a spark second one uh, secundos uh, because primos already died and that might be an option for us as well good if you are a big fan of Sparks, think about uh, how mechanical that like button looks. Um, it almost does that little robo dance in order to do and let it dance, click it and um, yeah, help the robo channel out a little bit. Thank you and see you in two days. Bye bye.